ladies and gentlemen, once again it is for the fuck. I don't even know what episode this is. Time. The, We're in the seven hundred though. Yeah, seven hundred something. I think seven. I'm going seven. 15? 715? I'm going 12. I, I think it's 715. We're past 12. I know we're past 12. I know I've done 12. For the 715th time. Oh, it'd be an odd number. I, Maybe. I think. <laughs> Which still be because it's the first one. Yeah. It is the Mason and Friends show. 717. Featuring that dude called you, aka. We should have called him. Fuck. What was it? I thought of it the other day. I thought of the name for the lady. Well. Is this Point Break? No. Because I was damn sure watching that last night. Because Julep Bell, I don't think it's as good as it could be. (laughs) But we'll get to that in a minute. Ladies and gentlemen. It's not Point Break. Also featuring that dude called Mike, a.k.a. The Transporter. Top Gun. Is it strong? Nope. Top Gun. Nope. Me, I am Mason. These are my friends. Welcome to the Mason and Friends Show. What's happening, y'all? What's good out there today? Is it Sling Blade? Nope. Sling Blade? No, it's this, a car movie. That, it's a car. That, oh, Days of Thunder. Nope. I, I, I was split it wide open. That was a good one. Is that Sling Blade? I took that. I took yeah. that. Uh, Hold on, wait I took that lower movie. blade right at the top of his head. Hold on, wait a minute. I'm trying to think of a car movie. I'm just sitting right God here. God damn it, shit. I'm eating my I got a steak. <laughs> I'm going to be eating my baskets. I'll be right here. <laughs> Car with, uh, f- uh, uh, Days of Thunder, man. No, I just said Days of Thunder. You said Days of Thunder? <laughs> yeah. I said Days of Thunder when you was talking. Uh, cars. No, it's not cars. Woo, <laughs> 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 my girl. <laughs> Stupid ass. Uh, <laughs> the Need for Speed. That was a movie. No, yeah, it's, it's not Need for Speed, but it, you're in the vicinity. Okay. That was a movie? Yeah, they made it into a movie. Hold on, so I'm in the It should have been Juana. That's what the oh, lady name Juana should have been. Man. Juana. <laughs> Juana. <laughs> uh, What's the, the hot pursuit? Is that? No, nah, that's not a movie. That was, that's car, a, that was a game. That was a type, that was a type of Need for Speed game. Fast and Furious. Hot pursuit. Nope, it's not a Fast and Furious movie. How many more car movies are there? I don't know. There's, there's a bunch. A there's what? Drive. You got Formula One. Not it. Not it. You're going to be so mad. Transporter. Nope. It's not. You're not gonna be that mad. It's gonna say it's a car movie. It's a Nicolas Cage movie. Gone in sixty seconds. Yes, there it is. There you go. Now, 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 now the sounds coming to me now. Yeah, you're right. Oh, I'm a nasty motherfucker. What was that car he was trying to get the end? That it's him? a Mustang. They call yeah, it, uh, it what was Eleanor. It called? Eleanor. That's it. Eleanor. I wish it was Penelope. Oh, that shit would have been tight. <laughs> I gotta go get my Penelope. I'm after Penelope tonight. So I was looking at my foot. What the fuck is wrong with foot? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, Mike. I think you're gonna have to actually take a look at it. So I was cooking, right? Enchiladas. Okay. And Enchiladas. I was frying up specifics. And I was frying up my tortillas while I had the chicken boiling. Okay. Okay. You know how raw roll where I don't clean the stove off. I just get to getting in the little spots I got. <laughs> I clean nothing, so, so sometimes dirty so things catch area, fire. Yeah. I mean, there's was, there was other pots and shit all around there. That's my drying. It's the area for the pots, right, when I'm washing. So I got all my shit everywhere. Instead of putting shit away, I'm just like, let me bang this out real quick. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And so, <laughs> <laughs> so then. I fried my tortillas in a little bit of oil, and shit just, shit just goes haywire. Swayze comes over there and smacks something for no reason, right? So everything now was just falling, right? The oils, the only thing that's staying in place is the fucking oil that's in the back. But the chicken pot boiling is falling. It's gone. It's going off the edge, bro. It's, it's, it's dipping. I got, okay. I got two options, man. Let it fall in fucking order dominoes. It is like 830, right? Yeah. And that's a bad option. Or no, just, eight. Or that's just, the option you should or take. just push it back up on the counter a little bit, right? So that's what your dumb ass is. So, you hold on, wait a minute. So I, would, saying, I would option save the chicken, right? <laughs> so Two unit always saves the chicken. Always save the chicken. It's chicken, right? So like, why, how yeah. did you save the chicken? Well, I just grabbed that pot you and pushed that bitch back up boiling top. Boiling hot pot. The pot's not the part that burnt me. It was a scorpion. Golden water that came, came exactly. over the pot yeah, and, yeah. and hit my hand, hit this whole hand area here, mainly in the webbing of uh, let's say digit one and two and three. 
right? <laughs> so, and the pinky was so, the pinky's live action. You see my little, which soon's gonna fall so, apart when I rip so it off. So of seventy-five percent of your head. And then the bottom of my foot somewhere, a left foot, uh, pinky toe up to the middle area. So your right, your foot caught the water too. Foot caught a lot of the water, a lot of the water. The foot was the hottest part of the water for some reason. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know how why. Because I guess I ain't you, never been burnt in my foot before. That your dumb ass should have let the pot fall. You let the pot fall. Yeah, yeah, both his feet would have been burnt up. The yeah, they don't no, burn up. Just eating chicken off the floor because I'm hungry and fucked up. His right? reaction would have been. His, his action should have been. My reaction like, was grab the pan. Exactly. Nah, no. You let know what you should have done? Back no, up. No, let me tell you what you should have done. Hey, clean your fucking kitchen. That's right. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> That's exactly what you should have I mean, done. I you should have cleaned your kitchen. I should have cleaned the counter. You should have cleaned your kitchen. I moved the shit out the way, but I didn't. And, so now your skin, and here he is. your skin basically got boiled real quick with some hot boiling water. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, so it you don't probably it, got it, a blister there. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, second degree. Not your hand, motherfucker. Your, your foot. foot. Your foot's the thing you were limping You're about. Well, your... just because I kept walking on, I'm wondering. I'm like, why the fuck See, does my foot hurt like this? This is how you get the staph infection that I told you you probably have, right? You have. If it were to open, open up, you have an open wound on your not foot, yet. and you're not walking yet. around this house. Not yet. That I won't take my shoes off. Yeah, yeah. Not yet. I mean, it's this one ain't broke. This ain't a blister yet. That's your hand. Yeah, but that was initial. Cut. Contact. It and hit my foot corner. And didn't you just say that your foot got burned worse it than your hand? It feels like it got burnt worse than my hand because I burnt my hand. Remember I well, ducked this Maybe you fire. need to go with feelings and respect them. Because I burnt my hand a lot of times. Exactly. Bum-bum. Your hand has callus. Your hand has built up. No, no your callus resistance. has a lack of nerve endings. So your hand doesn't feel what it your doesn't feel feet what your does, foot foot does. Because yeah. you burned off those nerve endings. Yeah, it ain't burned my foot yet. Because I'm about to put it more in the fire. When it's more of these fire days, I'm going to just put my foot through there. Is that what you're thinking? You're going to have to yeah, toughen up. Yeah, I'm going to tighten it up. Are you, Travis fucking Brickle? What well, the fuck in case is wrong with somebody want to towns me to a cold uh, walking contest what or something fuck? like that, I got to be on time. Dude. Where does this happen? Where are you going? Jewel the Nile and shit? You just never know, bro. Jewel you just never Nile. know. What the fuck is wrong with you? You never know. You never I'm out here with the Jewel the Nile walking across coals, singing Sufi songs and juggling fucking machetes. Ice bucket challenge came out of nowhere. Cold walking challenge could come right out the same spot. Is that no, no, no. Are we gonna do a cold walking Great challenge? LS. We can't walk on milk crates forever. You can't walk on milk crates forever. Yes, you can. No, you gotta other find pe- some other dumbass idea. Other people can. Yeah, Although, other people can, but there's gonna be another idea, bro. I, I like that you are now coming up with dumbass ideas for other people to do. I'm not doing it unless you know there's a couple. There's a lot of money online. Then I probably. But your feet are already calloused up, right? You've already burnt your feet up here at this point. Why not go on and start the trend? I haven't started staging yet. You've got to be the trend starter, Jew. You can be like. Like, hey, look at me. I'm just standing on coals. I'm just standing ass. on coals. It ain't no big deal. <laughs> but yeah, I'm stage so for what it sounds like, Hold you on, I'm gonna tap. I'm gonna tap this foot out. I'm gonna tap this fire out with my foot. I just gotta like walk on it on the inside of my. Yeah, you probably you, you probably got a blister that's full of fluid right now. No, it ain't blister up because that's like second degree. That's some bullshit. When it blisters, that's second degree. Third is when it like peels away, like Freddy Krueger. Like skin grab, like remember when I dunked my hand in the fryer? Yeah, I remember that. That's that was third degree. <laughs> my skin was peeling back and shit like that. Looked like a snake fucking shedding and shit like that. But I'm pretty sweet. sure I worked with you at that point. Well, that was Foster's. Oh, then no, I wasn't yeah, with that you was, there. That was way because the boy wasn't even born. Nah, I remember going to yeah. the baby shower, all fucking uh-huh. clubbed up and shit. Yeah. <laughs> damn dumbass. Give me the gifts. Uh-huh. Fuck this goddamn nigga here. Shit. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Dude, yeah. What is wrong with so you? So wait a minute. You gotta go to work tomorrow, don't you? Uh, All right. What's yeah? What's the next Sunday? Yeah. So so so, yeah. so fuck it. You gonna be in work boots trying to walk around? That's right, fine. Over. We're not doing nothing. Man, look. You better make sure you got to change the socks. We just been lounging. Yeah. You might want to take a change of socks. Open, yeah, you gotta change your socks, man. Yeah, like, it's not. A, I, like, didn't like, no, I didn't see no blister. So, just, well, Mike, Mike, like out. I said, Lieutenant, look Dan. at his foot. Look at his foot for him, Mike. You got eyes. Did you? This man, five minutes before we started doing this show, this motherfucker standing sideways with one foot in the air, trying to look at it, going, "Now, man, I can't get a good look at my foot." So I said, "Why don't you let Mike take a look at it?" <laughs> Mike's got glasses, so there's a reason to believe that <laughs> oh, Mike has. So, I'm saying it's so, reason to so believe his source. eyes are the best here <laughs> because he's got proper source for. Material for his eyeballs. He got sources. He got sources. Yeah. Michael. 
Have you heard anything from your sources about anything we need to know I'm about? I'm checking sources right now to see what's going on, man. I'm checking that one up. You know? I see. <laughs> what now, the look, fuck? That's got on. nothing to do with it. He's I want to throw, at- throw something at Junior to see if he feels the same way I would feel about this. So, so uh, y'all know you've heard about Southwest catching a bunch of shit, right? Southwest oh, DC? No, Southwest Airlines. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, for all their bullshit because they took... <coughs> They took money from the government and then f- let a bunch of people go so that they wouldn't be properly staffed for the next, like, year. And but then this has happened. The, here's the thing, though. Well, that's, that's, no, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. So people go, went on vacation, like, went on their, their winter vacation, Christmas vacation, whatever. One, during a fucking snowstorm. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. So these people that went during said snowstorm got stranded wherever they were fucking at, right? Got pissed off at Southwest Airlines because Southwest Airlines had to cancel a bunch of fucking flights. Uh-huh. Then ship their bags to fucking who the hell knows where they ship the bags to. When the bags were able to leave, they just couldn't leave. And people got upset because they had to fucking, they couldn't reschedule shit. They were having trouble rescheduling. Uh-huh. Fucking, uh, had to fucking spend money on a hotel room and all this shit got pissed off because they're like Southwest should be reimbursing us. But these and are I'm the, like, these are the risks you take. That's the that's, that's thing I'm saying. I'm like, you decided to leave uh-huh. with a blizzard coming. Uh-huh. So there's a chance that you will get stranded wherever you are. Uh-huh. But you're mad because this airline is not reimbursing you money that you had to spend. Where did all these people at a live? hotel? It doesn't Florida, matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. These are, these are things that the airline can refer to as acts of God. Well, yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. It sounds like some Florida shit. Like, hey, y'all told me to leave my house because of the hurricane. No, I stayed in my house. My, my house disappeared. If you leave, you owe me money. That's different. If yeah. you're leaving Florida trying to get away from a hurricane and they're they're like, no, fuck you. Like, that's, that's different than like. No, I'm saying the people that stay when they're like, leave. And then their shit gets fucked up, and then they're mad at the world because their shit got fucked up, or they got hurt. Well, that's when they should have. When why the fuck you stay there anyways? They said leave, motherfucker. Uh, yeah. Who the fuck follows that? But but you're the kind of person that would stay, right? And you would also accept though that like you staying and getting fucked up. Well, I decided to stay. I could have left. They told me I should have left. It depends right? on where I'm at in Florida. I'm retarded. I might get on the boat and just scoot out past the storm. I'm scoot on Ben Affleck. So he's going you're out gonna, to see like Lieutenant Dan. Into it. No, no, he's not going out there like Lieutenant Dan. Wait, fuck you! If, 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 if I'm living here, we're about to sink if, this if, shit. This is Florida, right? Yeah, this is Florida right here, right? All right. And this is the I like Gulf. That we can this visualize is, this. Is the yeah. Gulf over yonder, right? You Tune got in. all that. You got. That's the rest of America. You got all there. that America right here where yeah, it's the East flat. Coast. It, it drops right here. I love it. Drops that I, off right here, right? It just, I love that I have a dead. camera. <laughs> it just drops off right there, right? So yeah, we got camera now. So Ladies and gentlemen, the junior is doing so, a rudimentary explanation. Let's say the hurricane of America coming, with his hands. Hurricane coming here like one 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 dead. Right? Bam. Blah, blah, blah. Damn. Dead. I'm gonna come out of here. Skirt. So you want to go to the golf? Got the golf and go down yonder south of the Gulf. Was that Mexico? Mexico. What you need yeah, is go- a cigarette boat. Oh, can- not just a regular boat so I can troll. No, no. I'm gonna go out fast enough. It's coming on Thursday. I'm scooting on Monday. <laughs> skirt Monday. Skirt. Hey, boss, ain't coming in. Hurricane. Skirt. <laughs> Trolling right down in Mexico and, and past Mexico. Right, 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 right. I, I like to see how you got it all planned out. And then just, just. I think a cigarette boat that I'm gonna shoot from one side of the Gulf all the way to the other end. Bro, do is, I need a cigarette boat? Dude, no, I don't need a cigarette boat. You, you see what I do with the camera? You would be so. Ah, you would be so. I'm going around the world. Dave's theory is going to be proven, bro. I'm like, suited. damn, I drove straight forever, dog, and I came back to the same spot. So <laughs> I'm like, where boat, I got to fall off? A cigarette boat is well suited for you. You are well suited for a cigarette boat. You run that fucker at 130 miles an hour <laughs> from the tip of Florida all the way to like, I don't know, wherever, wherever, <laughs> and and why not? There's nobody else out there. See, that's the thing, right? You pay attention. You ride around the stuff that you see. You're not fighting for lanes on the Gulf of Can Mexico. Can you go from here to like, what is that, uh, like Asia and shit without, without needing gas? You what? can't go to Asia. The fuck? But you can go Wait to Central minute. America. Where the hell? No, you're going, you're going, you you're can going go to right, Central not going America. You I'm not go going down, I'm going left. Or I'm going right. 
What's that way? Ain't China, ain't China and all that shit that way. I'm going south Here, and turning right. Back on, back again. Where are you leaving on, from? on the globe. On the globe. That's We're going to say it's circle right now. Not flat like Dave. No, no. Here's, here's America. Here's America. Right over yonder, that's, uh, that's China. Africa. Or no, that's yeah, Russia, Africa, right? Do you no. realize? Russia over yonder. No. That's Jesus Africa. Christ. God. Your inability Lord to know Lord where Lord stuff Lord. is that's on the globe. Shit, right? that's you that's are so fucking out of whack that's right where, now. He's going to get lost at sea. He's so getting England. lost at sea. So he's England. worse than that. England. He has no idea yonder. where he's going England. in the first place. I can place. hit England that way. That's like he's going to England. He's like, Can I get to England on the boat? You're like Columbus calling the Americans Indians. Like, because he, he thinks he's an up. Indian. He was Spaniard, man. He, he thought he was, was from an ass, man. He 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 that shit don't even count. That shit really don't count, man. He can't go over there. He's probably from an ass, like I said. That shit don't. You can't even count that, bro. That's irrelevant, man. You know, the whole time, the whole time we grew up, man. They, 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 they his real name was probably Christoph or some shit. Whatever fucking Christopher or Mexican is, Christophe. Christophe or some shit like Christophe. <laughs> you know what I mean? He ain't no goddamn Christopher. The whole time they, I thought he was a cracker. You know, it wasn't until I was damn near fucking yesterday years old. I really, he's goddamn. Banger that came he's in here Italian. stealing everybody or someone. He's yeah, Italian. He's Italian. Oh, that's Italian. He's Italian. See, he changes got, every day. Nobody fucking got, knows what he actually is, man. He, First he was white, then he's Spaniard, now he's he Italian. He got money from the Portuguese. He definitely I knew was that. white. I knew it wasn't oh, his did money. Did you know that? I knew it wasn't his he money. He got money from the Portuguese. I knew he stole somebody's money to, and do, he, these, yeah. to do these three boats, the Nina, the Penta, and the Santa Maria, yep. and come over here and apparently like chop the hands off of natives while telling them to go get them some gold and shit. Yeah, hey, I'm going to fuck your wife and chop the hands off your children until you, you bring me some gold. Show me how to grow that corn. That's apparently how he got down. I don't know. I grow that corn. We're gonna make some liquor. Well, you, corn. you would certainly hope. Boy, you're fired up today, ain't you, Jew Unit? Good lord, man. It's early in the morning. He's like, man, I ain't I ain't wore out yet. I ain't drank myself too man, stupid. He, he, he's been dry. Fired up. The pussy has been dry during this cuffing season. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the pussy has been on high. The pussy that went into hibernation. No, nah, just that's just the bitches on plenty of fish went into hibernation. <laughs> you ain't found no plenty of fishes. Like, it, it might be their New Year's resolution that they're not gonna be on POF. Plenty of fish is not like it used to be. You gotta, it's getting towards paying, towards paying for it to do anything with it. Man, I hate all that shit. So I don't even like any of that shit anyway. I just want to go to somewhere and meet somebody if I'm try to meet somebody. I before this, you could get a certain amount of fucking internet bullshit messages or whatever. Now they like one a day. You know what might be fun? The OG Bobby Nod Johnson got that fucking virtual reality shit with the Oculus joint, and I'm telling you what, virtual dating, dude. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Like the virtual day, everybody, you be out there talking to people and shit. Like that virtual reality shit is looking virtual. See, here's the crazy like part though, because you it's, can be talking to a guy. It's gonna be like uh, that that uh, exactly. movie surrogate with Bruce Willis, where motherfuckers are their, their surrogate was like a woman, but it was a fat dude in the fucking room smelling like ass. Right, right, right. You know? Controlling his hottie. Yeah, out there getting everybody to try to bang her. Exactly, exactly. Now game. you can really run into some fake bitches on some virtual reality shit. Winning. That'd be like uh, that Black Mirror shit with fucking them two dudes were playing the video game and one dude was a female. Yeah, but I mean, the fuck I'm wor- like, worrying the fuck? about worrying about who you're technically fucking in virtual reality almost doesn't fucking matter. My point is, it's like we're dealing. Well, we're on the, a dude we're on the verge you know of the I mean? matrix. Like, <laughs> no, they, you're, you're not trying to fucking fucking chick with a dude keeps like, popping up. That's like, not well, my we're point. Here. That's not my point. Yeah, that's not cool. <laughs> my whole point is that like the fucking. Universe <laughs> is like on the verge of the matrix. Oh yeah, and absolutely. Like, you get about to be plugged in, right? You got to be plugged in. Did, we, your life. did, we, did you? It's fucking bullshit. We still got to find a black Earth Dave, right? A black Earth a black Dave. Black Earth 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 Earth. <laughs> <laughs> no, a non-Dave flat Earther. A, oh, flatter. A, a flat a earth. black flat earther. No, we got to find a flat earth, not Dave. It could be black or Asian or white. I don't give a we fuck get, about we that. We got to get, we got to get, we got to find somebody else that's flat earth and that we can talk and to about flat earth. And then we need a female earth. flat earther. Now you need a flea, female no, flat earther. No, we need earth. to get all the perspectives, bro. See if someone got a different, see if, see if it's oval or if it's, if it's tees off. One may, wait, one may have it going off at a 45 degree slant and not straight down. You know, I never know. Somebody could say it's a square, not a circle. But that wouldn't be flat. It's, if it's square, not a circle, it's still flat. 
It's still flat and it could be beveled. You could have that 90 degree, a 90 degree angle screw. Yeah, you know I mean? but the flat is still flat. It and could it could be beveled. Skirt. Flat it could is bevel still down. Flat. Motherfuckers talking it about could, flat. It, could, still it could bevel flat. down at a 45. No, I like that. The flat is like, still flat. Ladies and gentlemen, the G unit has coined a new type of earth. Beveled earth. Like That's the, just the edge. The G unit believes edge. in beveled earth. Like, <laughs> it's not flat. Like, it's got a beveled edge. It ain't flat. I know you don't fuck with Fortnite, but it's next time I tasteful. turn that on, I'm going to take a picture. When, you, when you're in the little boat in the air and you, and you, fly, and you shoot down at the world, and it's like... It's a flat earth world. I'm going to take a picture of it. Show it to Yens. So what you're telling me is there's a flat earth, there's a flat planet, or flat whatever. There's a flat existence in... What's the name of that game? Uh, Fortnite. Fortnite. Fortnite is a flat existence. Yeah, it's flat earth. Now, do you think up. that's do you think that's the uh, video game developers? Uh, are they getting, all flat earthers? Are they oh, are man, they they getting your children prepared for the eventuality oh. that flat Earth is going to be the reality of the Fortnite world? Has are a, they pushing uh, flat Earth like that? They're not pushing I, flat Earth. Like I don't that, know, bro. It? I don't know, bro. Uh, fl- that's why we need to talk to more than flat Earth. They can start teaching in school here. We need to talk to flat Earth somebody else. Fortnite has a lawsuit getting ready to go up against them right now. Probably for brainwashing children into thinking that the Earth is flat. What it is, they got a lawsuit. Saying that, um, that's some what is there? They were exposing kids to fucking <laughs> foul language and some more shit. That was Come like, on, man! Why? Because the grown ass kids, grown ass kids, like forty year old kids, is cussing out eight year old kids and shit. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Did say he, again. Did he just say forty year old kids. Forty year old kids. The kind that play Fortnite, yeah. like like him right there, man. Next time I turn on Fortnite, no, I'm, I'm gonna cuss I'm out an eight year old. I'm talking about the grown ass man is his mama basement been playing that bitch since Friday. <laughs> get, get food slid under yeah, the door yeah. like that. You know what I, mean? I guess like, with Fortnite you can't cut it off they say you know they, they, there's no way to cut that communication off so you're exposing kids to shit that they shouldn't be hearing so there's like a big ass lawsuit so if you get yeah, something you in the mail throw that shit, shit can, out well you can either mute it or That's I guess you, they're saying that it's such an integral part of the game is the communication yeah. factor that you can't play the game without having to hear like people getting their dick sucked like, I don't know. Like, what kind of nasty shit's going well, on they're there? Talking, you know what I mean? Most of those games are mic'd up. Well, and you're right. at a party with, with however many fucking people. You're right. hearing all these things going on. But that's my point. Like, yeah. we're in a big party. Like, I could be getting my dick sucked and right next to yeah. the microphone. And motherfuckers are like, oh, hey, well, what's going yeah, on over there? Things, yeah. I could be watching porno yeah, you you know, right next to the microphone. You're a little yeah. six-year-old kid on there talking about But you can play it. I mean, I don't play it. I, Boy, I don't have, hey, your mama's sucking my dick over here. I don't got a mic and I don't hear nobody getting blown. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean really. So what you're telling me is you haven't heard anything that you would consider inappropriate. Well, I don't fuck with a mic, so I'm not. I'm about hearing what other people are doing because if people are nasty motherfuckers. I don't want. I don't. Now you little bitch, I'm gonna come to your house. Yeah, I'm not gonna listen. I'm not gonna like you know. I'm, fuck you, yo bastard. <laughs> Maybe back. No, nah, not even back in the day. Like I don't even know. Like I don't even think I'd be. But now they like link up with their homie. It's always like that. You know what's up? But then you can also get in there and just hell whoever just talk shit. Anybody can say whatever to anybody on that motherfucker. Because it's open fucking, basically open communication. Super, and that's what Fortnite The, the internet super highway or whatever, whatever he, whatever he, <laughs> uh, whatever fucking uh, Jim Carrey said. Super internet highway, intergalactical. Oh, right, 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 right. You're talking oh, about yeah. it in the cable guy. Cable guy! He said intergalactical. Something. <laughs> I don't remember what he took him to, god damn it. Inf- oh, information shit. super highway. Information super fucking highway, bro. Luscious. <laughs> this man said intergalactals. <laughs> I, I, I like that one. What are you? I'm an intergalactal. Cable gets a simple coax to come out of here. They never take the time to understand it all. <laughs> Where exactly are we going? He knocked the lift back and talk. You son of a bitch. <laughs> I talk normal. I talk normal. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> He don't punch the lisp in and out of his ass, man. That's fucked up. <laughs> God damn. That's a bad motherfucker you know, right there. I, I remember seeing this movie. Dick Tyson never did that. No, I remember seeing that movie in the theater and being so pleased with how you didn't find out if Ben Stiller got found guilty or not at the end. Like, I loved how they just took away that thing that had been dragging on throughout the whole movie. They had the, the OJ-esque trial going on, and it's Ben Stiller is on trial for murder, <laughs> and they keep showing him in the background on the news, oh, yes, and it's just Ben Stiller in the courtroom looking all serious. And then they're bringing down the verdict just as he hits the satellite dish. <laughs> Is that it right there? Here you go. Right now, she's sending entertainment and information to millions of satisfied citizens. That's pretty impressive. See? I knew you'd appreciate this. 
as you do, you have your appreciation of the information superhighway and the way things get accomplished in this world. That was a good movie. That was a good movie. No, Cable Guy was absolutely, absolutely killer. You get something in the mail, man. File off of that loss and get get money. money? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Now I can check my mail. For what? For which lawsuit? I've been violating. Oh, for Fortnite. Fortnite. Yeah. yeah, I've been violating. Dude, you have definitely, like, you didn't used to talk like this. When you played Fortnite, like, you have become so vulgar. What episode can we pull and up? Disgusting. <laughs> you know the progression, man. What the fuck? Right. Exactly. Son of a bitch. If you listen to this show <laughs> yep, yep. over years, you'll see just how gross the Jew unit has become. But there goes, no, he ain't been getting no more fucked up than he already has, but he's just always been real fucked up. He said, ain't yeah, no but, more fucked but up than what he already is. He's already been fucked up. Physically. I like how he breaks his shit down. Fortnite's <laughs> like, ain't no way we could have done all this damage. We can't change this motherfucker. He come out the womb like that, man. And like, yeah, we've been hurting <laughs> he people. He probably slapped his mom on the ass talking about good games as soon as he came on out there. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ah, yeah, that'd be funny as shit. <sighs> If you would've hit Dot on the way out. Yeah, he's like the uh he's like the baby in who frame Roger Rabbit. Good game, Ma. <laughs> Good game, Ma. <laughs> Jesus, you're an idiot. Oh shit. <laughs> this shit ain't right. Oh, nigga, you ain't right. <laughs> oh shit. Fuck. It's too early for this shit. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even know what to say right uh, now. I'm all blanked out uh, at this point. Fuck. God damn it. Well, sources say that fucking old Prince Harry dropping bombs on motherfuckers now with his tell-all book. Yeah. Prince Harry's dropping a bomb? I heard him on the radio. Yeah, he, like, got, he got a tell-all book something. out now. So now they got the they got the, the um, Netflix joint with Megan and them, you know, talking about how fucked up the royal family is. And now Prince Harry dropped his motherfucking tell-all book about shit that would happen in his life and how his daddy wasn't you, there for. You, you know what I now want to do porno-wise? Hey, there's a... Uh, there's a <laughs> this is where we're going out. Nah, this is where we're going. This just came to me. This just came to me. There's a guy, there's a guy that does these face swaps called, uh, I can't think, Kyle Dunnigan, right? Yeah. And does all these really funny face swap things on Instagram. I want to get that technology and face swap... Prince Harry's face onto me and bang a bunch of different chicks while doing the accent like, oh, you little cheerio, I'll suck more dick. You well, know, look, all that kind of shit. He said that would be amazing. He said his, uh, his his virginity got taken behind a pub over there in England at a young age. Oh, That's so literally so, taken. It was I, taken. Literally he's taken. Like, it sounds he, like literally. Yeah, he's such a pussy. He considers his virginity was taken from. It was taken I from was, me. I was walking in his just, bank, right, right, look, right, right, right there. I, bam. I, I don't think uh, Harry's right a there, pussy. Well, Fargo. His it brother was, William looks like he the pussy. Harry just, looked like he, he he was back there trying to take that take that bad boy baby. I don't think so. Like, I, I think don't know. And hey, once Harry got his load off, if, Harry went wild. If he's describing it as it was taken from him. He didn't lose it. He, you know, you, you lose your virginity. He probably had one of them fucking England lot lizards over there, you know. <laughs> that just happened to be in the back alley smoking hey, a cigarette. He's like, they all over, bro. She was a, dis- they was a descendant of a lot lizard. It was killed by uh, me, uh, great, see, great uncle she see Jack this, the Ripper. This young ginger come around the corner. Come here, boy. That's right. We keep all the lot lizards in the same <laughs> families. That way they share the tricks of the trades with each other. And what happened was, see, me great-great-grandfather was Jack the Ripper, and he killed her great-great-grandmother, and then I had sex with her so that she actually stole my virginity from me. Uh-huh. Because that is how I look at it now as a, as a woke human being that uh, is, is now woke. like <laughs> here in America or Canada or wherever he's it is. At, he's in America. They don't in stay America. in these That's days. They're in the state somewhere. I'm doing Netflix shows that where I could teach people out there which ways things should be and shouldn't be. <laughs> I got after, another one for after you. After I got my virginity stolen from me by a lot lizard that should have now, been look, wiped out by me great great grandfather. Also, in this book, sources say uh-huh. that fuck he talks about his dad telling them like, "Look, you ain't my son." Like, you didn't come from my loins. <laughs> if he says, the reason I've got me air is because uh, Doty was actually me pops. And what happened was, yeah, it's very he, weird because Doty was like, apparently like Arabian or some such. No one understands quite where the red hair came from. where the red from, hair come from, exactly. You know? But it's definitely not from King Charles. 
he's just a little bitch. It's why they don't want me in the family. And I married a, I mean a, a yeah. girl of color. Cause see, look, that's that's what they were saying. Cause look, that, that's, they, that's how we talk in the royal family, right? That's what the services, say, said, that's uh, what the sources say, right? We yep. say things like the N word, but we they, we have to censor ourselves. He he, he uh, Megan or is it who's he married to? <laughs> Megan. Megan, yeah. So Megan had to put him. In oh, check. you mean the the colored girl? Cause she, she he said he said something <laughs> fucked up to her. She's like, you ain't talking to me like that no more. Like you. Get your shit together. Who said something fucked up to her? Harry said something fucked up to her. She was like, Look. "Is Harry the redhead?" Yeah. So you think Harry was out there saying that? Wait, what? How does it? I don't understand how they even get together <laughs> to the point of where like he's saying something fucked up to her after they're married. It's like now nah, that we're married, a, let me go and say some married. fucked up shit he to said you. Some right? fucked up shit to her. She's like, "Nah, I ain't fucking with you. Get your shit right." He's like, "Well, this is how I was raised. I've always heard this." And I'm like, "Oh, he must call her a nigga." Do you think? <laughs> like, Do you, you think? You black ass bitch, nigga. Yeah, some shit like that. <laughs> I guarantee he put all kinds of shit in there, right? And she's like, I ain't having it. She probably was getting ready to fuck him up. And he was like, you know what? Wait a minute. She's really mad about this. What did I do wrong? So oh, I got to school oh, you on what I'm you sorry. Did wrong. Is that not acceptable your family, terminology? Your family's fucked up. Let me tell you about your fucked up ass family. Then he probably went and did some history on his own. Did his own research. Like, holy shit. My family is fucked up. Well, hey, Will. You see this shit? You do this about grandma? He's like, Harry. Yeah, motherfucker. Harry, you should be thankful you're not inbred like the rest of us. Yeah, no shit. No shit. Uh-huh. Yeah, fuck it. I'm like, man. So we've he- got to wash the non inbred part of the family now, out the family. The so we made shit. him fall in love with a black girl so we could just excommunicate him from because the whole look, ordeal. Harry doesn't have no path to the throne. Shitheads. Shitheads. Yeah, of course not. Because he's not look, real blood, is what you're telling me. Sources, well, say, sources where, say. Where do these sources come from? Like, who is this source? Can you give me any more than just a source told you uh, that Harry is not bloodline? These are blood clippets line? from other shows that have read this book. So this, wait. Is, this is from news outlets. So this is like a real source. Yeah. <laughs> and these are news. This is all like notes from fucking all week long of people talking about this book. So this because is fresh it got news released. Shit. Yeah, it got released in Spain first. It's not even over here yet. So the motherfuckers over in Spain and shit done read this motherfucking book and like, damn, this motherfucker letting all the information out, like, he airing out all this shit. Like, his, his daddy didn't love him, his daddy was always told that you ain't my seed, you know, you didn't what? come for me, yeah. Like, he was like, man. That's what he's always saying to him. Yeah, he said, man, when he was little, <laughs> his dad didn't love him. Like, he said when fucking, he found out that his mom passed away, his dad told him that fucking his mad mom passed away. He's like, I didn't cry. My dad didn't hug me. He just told him and walked the fuck out. Your mother's dead. Yeah, and left. And walked. <laughs> and then I walked away. And, and was gone. Like, all right. That's man. how we handle things in the royal family. And they then, tell you brass tacks. Guess what? Your mother's dead. She died in a car accident, screaming bloody murder and, and it's all because we set it up but don't tell anyone you little and bastard they're fucking, they were like you know don't said, worry i'll let you get old and marry a black girl one day and then we'll excommunicate you from the family he, it won't I, be a big deal you don't have a path to the throne anyway you little bastard now look, now, your little your, your little whore mother went and had to fuck everyone in the whole bloody yeah. castle i have no idea who your actual father is now, look, it could be doty it could be the man and the changes the toilet paper. It might have been. It could have been the motherfucker that just rolled with her at the bakery. <laughs> <laughs> the way your whore mother went out sleeping with everyone she could get her grubby now, little look. mitts upon. It was disgusting. As I've said in previous episodes, if it wasn't so uncouth, I'd have someone else come in here and eat her pussy before I tried to impregnate her, which never worked. Because except the looked. one time we get bored headed William. Yeah. Can, who that will motherfucker, she, how you come out bald and stay bald your whole life? Right. Right. That is definitely bald headed William who had a full head of hair for all of five minutes that, as a grown man. That, that's, and, that, that's William's bloodline right there. That, that's, that's how we knew he was true. Yeah. That one right that's, there that's comes true from my blood. genes. That's, that's royal blood right that's there. That's the only time I actually had sex with Diana. That's how I know that you are not my seed. Holy I shit. knocked that whore up Yo, one time. Patrick Swayze just got a hold of my motherfucking tablet because look, this shit just popped up. What do you like, got? Diana and all this shit to print. All this shit just started popping up on my I fucking tablet. Like they're listening, Mike. They're listening. I didn't, I didn't touch. It shit. It just keeps changing. Yeah, they might be listening to that, but Swayze <laughs> yeah. is around. I'm trying to tell you, Swayze up in this bitch. Doing this, something. this is the motherfucker that threw the water at your foot. No, that, no, no. That was that myself. was That was myself. Oh, you fucked up because you can't clean <laughs> but up. Swayze be turning the TV on when he when he ain't done watching it. He be leaving the lights on when he don't want to go up in there. You sure it's not one of these children around here that nah, leave the lights nah. on? 
Nah, I know damn sure that it that ain't the fucking little fucking chillings fuck That's with the TV. Bullshit. You know what? It would be funny if they actually had a remote. That one of these remotes that he lost, yep. and just be sitting there fucking with him, coming out the room and just, oh yeah, yeah. yeah they come out the corner, they change the channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. would do that Wait, shit just to fucking do that shit, bro. You never know, man. You never know. Uh, bro, that's some bullshit. Oh yeah, they all your kids. Bro. I'm, bro, I'm bro. giving them a benefit of doubt. I'm giving them a benefit. You of doubt. think they're more sophisticated than the Jew unit gives them credit for? Yeah. Cause look, I tried. They was trying to plot on him to whoop his ass yeah, and fucking smoke, do what did, they, what did they do? Yeah. Absolutely nothing. Huh. But the fact that they have talked about it, they that means they're fine. About it. They're fine tuning their game plan. I don't on keep you. on talking about yeah, it. They're gonna smoke you one of these days, just like fucking uh, what's his nuts thought he was gonna do in that Sharon, Sharon Stone movie. That when Leo thought he was gonna cap his daddy. In, oh uh, uh, shit! Hold on. Wait a minute. In uh, uh, quick in the, the quick dead, and dead ugly. Yeah. The quick in the dead. Yeah, no ugly. I thought, what is there, no ugly the quick in the dead. There was no ugly in that movie. Ugly? What the hell is Sharon Stone? I think it might be a Sharon porn. Stone. Uh, quick dead and ugly. <laughs> might be a porn. That's weird. A porn. That's a porn, bro. <laughs> That's weird. But the quick in the dead. It, it was a quick in the dead, cuz. That's so. There wasn't no ugly in that bitch. Did I get him? Yeah, you got yeah, him. Yeah, you got him. Yeah, he's dead, you dummy. Yeah, Just you like you. Dying. He's deader than you are. Yeah. But yeah, they was plotting on his ass. That goes back to the fucking... No, nah, that's going to be the day, man. What they're going to do is they're going to whoop his ass and videotape it and then post it on the internet. But it's not going to be for another three or four years. They the show's going to take off one day and then they're going to be like, yeah, y'all think you're fucking Jew unit's funny? We done whooped his ass! They ain't going to post it on the They're going to send it to us. It's going it's to be in the group text. It's going to be gonna get a little file in it's the group text. It's going to be down text. here looking like Rocky after the fight. Uh, hanging no, out. no, like Martin did after he fucking fought that... Uh, in, in, uh, when he fought, what's his name, in the exhibition match on Martin? Who did he fight? That uh, Sugar Ray or somebody that beat his ass? The Hammer. Who the fuck? It was somebody Martin fought in that goddamn episode. <laughs> People know what I'm talking about right somebody now. Somebody does. Somebody knows, Mike. Look. I guarantee you. What do you got? Look what? Hitman Hearns. That's who it was. Tommy Hitman Hearns. Yeah. He fought Tommy Hitman Hearns. Martin fought him in an exhibition match on his on the Martin show. I'm sure that didn't got go well. Head I'm up. sure he got all he had up. laid up in the motherfucking ropes and shit. Gina, I was barbecue I mean, sauce and chicken. He's half shit. of he's half of the Hagler Hearns fight, man. Yeah. Like the greatest round in boxing history. Yep. No way, you was you had a thought here, and he stopped. What was your thought? I'm fucking my kids up. That's just your thought? That's your statement? Yeah, yeah. Let him step to this, man. They can bring that ass. I'm a I whoop, wish he I'm would. I'm going to whoop that ass. I, I don't wish give he a would. fuck, man. Like, I'm a, I will beat the shit out of them little motherfuckers if I have to. Like, I, I am that fucking guy. Yeah, but the same shit you're saying is the same shit they're thinking All right, already. That's fine. Keep on thinking it, you little motherfuckers, and get bigger. <laughs> and get bigger. What if they get bigger and beat the shit out of you? Then they beat the shit out of me. There you go. That's the way to do it. He, he, just, he just shrugged his shoulders. Yeah, but then they whooped my ass. I mean, I'm, I'm going to fuck him up. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> well, let mean? me and, ask and, and I ain't using my money to go for that copay. You going to fucking figure that out at home, motherfucker. If you fuck him up after, like, are you going to be like, they fucked you up, and then, like, you're going to wait a couple weeks and come smack the shit out of him, fuck him up, like, catch him one on one? No. Nah. Like, if they come at you two on He's going to kick him out. I'm Say, always going to fuck with him. I'm always going to fuck with him. That, I'm always going to fuck with my that's, kids. That's whatever, another whatever. question. Slap on the back of the head. But Whatever, you know what I mean? I always fuck with them. But I'm saying, are you going to kick them out if they whoop your ass? If they jump you? If they nah, jump you I'm too deep? I'm going to have to kick the one out, but... He's going to charge them rent. <laughs> He's like, alright, y'all whoop my ass, y'all going to pay rent now. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all hold up to whoop my ass, y'all hold up to pay rent this motherfucker. Is that true? Is that how you would look at it? Um, No, but I'm going... I've been thinking about charging the oldest rent already. Well, what, are you trying to get him to move out? <laughs> no, I just, just, you know. Responsibility. Yeah, you're an adult now. You ain't going to keep on just living this luxurious-ass life. That you provide. You've provided such a luxurious I mean, I'll, life. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll put it, like, he'll give me rent. I'll put it in it back in his bank account. Like, I'm not going to actually take his money. You, know you mean, mean you put it in his savings to give to him later on? Yeah, I'll put it right back in his bank account. But it's just the fact that if actually, you put it right back wait, in his wait, bank wait, account, wait, 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 it's wait, not wait. like he's paying you. You have it's to put it into account. a savings account that he doesn't have access to. Yeah. Look at you. 
You non-thinking ass. Come on, man. I don't have kids. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I don't want his money. That's not my point. Are you even listening to what I'm saying? I don't, I don't want or need his money. So no, I'm gonna what, put it, I'm gonna Michael, can you explain okay. to him what I'm trying to tell him? He I said, hear what y'all saying. Have a separate account, so he's gonna pay you the money, and you're gonna put it in a separate account that he doesn't have access to. So look, where he actually needs money when he moves out, like hey, a look, trust or here something. Here is, yeah, here's money that I'm like saying. When you up. turn 25, this is your money that you have given me for rent that now you can have here to start your own shit. Right. Here's the money. Like you don't tell him, like, hey, boy, I'm just gonna put it right back in your bank account because if he gives you 400 bucks, his bank account goes from a thousand dollars to six hundred dollars, and then the next day you deposit four hundred dollars back in his bank account, it goes back up to a thousand dollars. What the fuck have you accomplished? How have you taught him anything? Because he's paying rent. <laughs> That's some bullshit. That's some the bullshit. Fuck? Here's That's your money back? <laughs> like, what kind of shit is that? How does that make sense? Hey, Jew, like, like I'm going to sell you this weed, but I need you to give me the money back. Or I'm going to give oh, you your yeah. money back. No, yeah. here's, here's your weed and the money that you've paid me for. How does that make any sense? Or no, how... You give him weed, he gives you money, you get And then you give the him the money back. right no, back. You, 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 he gives you the weed back. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, here's 50 bucks for some weed. Okay, well, here's your weed and here's your 50 bucks back. That's what you're saying you're going to do. Pay rent. Give me $400. Okay, $400. here's your $400 back. Give me $100. Here's your $100 back. It doesn't matter if it's $20. Like... What you do is you put that $20 into a bank account the boy don't have access to, and then one day you cash it out and give him all that money. At when you see fit. You can do a you can put in a, a Roth IRA for him. There you and go. Let the money grow. There you go. Start a Roth IRA. Now we gonna got a goddamn retirement fund started for you when uh-huh. you're eight goddamn teen because you're living at the motherfucking house here. Uh-huh. And I'm gonna do something that's like something that when you turn 60, you'll be like, oh well shit, here's a whole bunch here's of money, money I didn't I even got, know I yeah. had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's the way you can I'm do it. I'm saying, like, do something that at least there's some turnaround. There's some like, there's not like a, give a, a foothold on something. Give them foothold in life. You don't give no interest in the goddamn fucking bank accounts nowadays. Maybe no, that's what I was saying. Two percent. Fucking I just said a raw fire. You ain't getting shit now neither. They grow. You put it in the right way. You can get a raw fire. Roth grows. You know, with the market, or or better yet, get them a life insurance policy. Get them a whole life insurance policy. He can take money. Put it in a life insurance policy on you for when you drop dead. He already has that. Oh. I wait for them to plot and be like, are we gonna get his ass? I got that. They're gonna have him fall off a boat like Scott Peterson. Oh yeah, because that's that that's actually plausible. Absolutely, it's fucking plausible. Be careful if your kids be like, hey dad, this is what we're gonna do for you for your birthday. We're gonna go fishing. We're gonna go fishing. (laughs) We we did charter the boat and it's only y'all three on the boat. (laughs) (laughs) And they gonna come back. Man, dad got all fucking drunk and fell off the boat. Exactly. We called the Coast Guard. They couldn't find him. Exactly. You know, so it is what it is. Last we heard was. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's what we We was yelling out there, dad, and come here. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> we were a Marco Polo yeah. with the mirrors. Dad. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> Where you at, dad? Meow. I said, over here, you little bastard. Hey, Jude, what are you so caught up in, man? What's, what are you, what are you looking about. at? <laughs> what are you looking at? What are you so, what are you so involved with? I'm, I'm sending a little text right now. So who? Who are you talking to? It looks like a female picture. That's what I'm trying it's to figure out. It's potatoes and um, breakfast. So you're sending breakfast. pictures of breakfast. I'm not sending pictures of breakfast. So a lady sending you with, pictures of breakfast. I don't fuck with breakfast. You wouldn't eat breakfast that some lady made for you? I'm not really a breakfast... Yeah, really. Oh, you didn't answer the question, though. Uh-huh. What, what was the question again? What God I, what, damn it. This see, this is it. why we need to take his phone away from him so that he can participate in the goddamn conversation we're having. Like, If a woman made you breakfast... Would you eat it? Yeah, why, why not? What? I don't know. You're the you one saying that you're not into breakfast. 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 I mean, That's I what you've well, been saying. Why eat, not? Because like, you're not into breakfast. Fist. Like when we like when we do fucking New Year's and shit, have all that bacon and all that yeah. pancakes and all that shit. I just eat a couple pieces of chicken, but I don't really fuck with breakfast. <laughs> I mean, I eat bacon. I love bacon. So, but you would eat bacon and eggs and a piece of toast. Not eggs. If, no. You won't eat eggs. No eggs. You don't eat eggs. No. Nah. What's the matter? You like chickens whole, not eggs. He I likes, like chickens he, grown, not he eggs. He likes the adult chickens. He's not going to R. Eat Kelly the, chicken. You, <laughs> I don't eat his feet. I his don't chicken feet. is too young. Feet, yeah. intestines, or eggs. I don't, that's all I eat. Don't eat out the chicken. In, in the head or in the neck. 
What? I mean, who eats a head? I mean, I'm sure people probably it's some part. I don't know, man. I don't know, dude. Chicken feet. I can never eat chicken feet. I can never eat chicken feet. Chicken feet. I understand. I'm not. I'm not arguing and, with and, that. And chitlins and um, pig feet. Things. There's things that I wouldn't want to uh, eat either. Um, yeah. Um, chicken liver. Can't fuck with chicken liver. Can't fuck with eggs. Fat eggs as a kid and younger age, but I don't. I don't fuck with eggs. <laughs> but if I'm doing breakfast, it'd be. Pancakes, bacon, uh huh, potatoes. But shit, them eggs got expensive now. My mom yeah, called me. About, man. My they mom called me the other day. She said, eggs. "What the fuck is going on with eggs?" The dude was talking about they got some goddamn flu in the birds again. I was like, I guess that's what they're gonna say now. Who the hell knows? Mom? I mean, you know, we gotta we gotta do what we gotta it's do to justify something. It. They gotta say the something inflation. for the yeah. I said they're just trying try to say something for the inflation. What's but you know, on. diesel. Twice the cost of gas. Like oh, man. everything gets shipped around Which with diesel. Is crazy, yo. Yeah, you know yeah, the deal. You're dealing with that. You probably drive a diesel. You nuts. drive a diesel. Yeah, 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 exactly. Like even the fucking guys when I go fill up, they're like, "Look, man, you know they, they tell us ahead of time, like y'all might want to come fill up like today." Because there's chances we might run out, and who knows when we're going to get some shit in here. Like, that's yeah. fucking nuts. Things are wild. But everything got to get shipped. And everything's, how you get shipped? everything's right on the verge. Oh, yeah. Just waiting for shit to go ape shit this Yeah, man. You never know when we're going to tip over the edge and Mad Max will ensue. Uh-huh. It's like uh, 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 the Grandmaster Flash and Furious 5. So close to the I'm telling you, edge. Broken glass everywhere. Yep. People pissing in the streets. Just, just, just don't care. care. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, with that said, yeah. we're going to have to bring this episode of Stupidity to a close. Uh huh, uh huh. We'd like to thank you so much for listening. Yes, we do. We'd like to encourage you to listen to old episodes as well as new episodes. Uh huh, like, share, subscribe. That's right. Uh, you know, be nice to people that look like you. Be nice to people that don't look like you. Don't be a dick. Uh huh, a little bit spot, a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. Keep moving forward. That's right. Uh, keep grinding on the shit you're trying to get done because that is how things get done. We believe in you. That's right. Protect your mental health. Protect your mental wealth. Uh huh. Protect your energy. That's right. Go to therapy with your crazy ass if that's what you need to do. Uh huh. And, uh, you know, take it easy, man. Don't forget, we love you very much. Love y'all. We wish you nothing but the best. Uh huh. And, uh, peace be with you. Go. Peace. <laughs>